Hello everyone, you're welcome to the Library Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the image crop, uh, whereby I'll be creating an application that will be calling on image files right in your uh, memory card or the gallery or anywhere it sits in your Android device. And uh, it's going to be displaying it uh, on the UI and giving you an access to crop any portion or any desired uh, portion from the image and you have your cropped uh, picture. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I'll be explaining uh, the source file of this image crop application in details. Right in the gray scripts, I have the module and the project lab session. On the mob module session, uh, we'll be talking about the major dependency that actually make this uh, uh, integration very possible. Uh, we'll be talking about the SoundCloud Android crop 1.0.1 uh, at the AAR. Now, this SoundCloud library integration is uh, important during the course of this uh, uh, crop, uh, whereby you need to uh, synchronize with Gradle after including this compile, and you have your uh, application set for the for mod uh, development. I'll be going straight to the rest and the layout to check out the activity underscore main XML. Uh, we're going to actually use a frame layout here where we have this context calling to the main activity, which is the uh, the major activity of this particular application. And we have the image view, whereby you're going to have the result image. Now we assign an ID called the result image. The layout with an ID are all match parents. And the scale tab is going to be center inside. What about the background of that uh, particular view? We'll be calling from drawable a texture. We have a texture uh, by, uh, drawable. We'll be looking afterwards let's get to look at the texture the texture is an xml but whereby we have a bitmap now and we included a source called tau so the uh the background is going to come in the form of tiles and whereby we have a repeat mode for this particular tile this tile is so small but with the help of the repeat uh tie to tile mode we're going to have a uh, a full-blown background with this particular uh, PNG file. This is just a 32 by 32 PNG file, which is going to actually blow up to a full background because of the repeat uh, we actually used in the tile mode. Now we'll be moving straight to the main activity. There's a short application, and uh, the main activity we have to enable us see how you're going to integrate uh, the crop and uh, call on the necessary library. Now I imported the import the and the SoundCloud Android crop. This particular import is very important, and also the image view, the post, and the, the URI and intent. We have the main activity that extends the activity, and we created a field called Resolve View from the image view class. Our onCreate method we call on the set content view, which is the activity main xml which explain now we're going to instantiate the result view calling on the id the result image uh, which is going to start actually all the background of the tiles we have the on create options menu where we get to inflate the menu and uh, call the activity main menu now uh, there is a menu activity main which you'll be looking very very immediately after this let's look at the activity main menu before we come back to our main activity. The activity main menu is a very short one whereby we have the item, you know, the action select and the title pick, you know, which is actually going to sit on the top bar, the menu, you know, right on the top uh, toolbar of this particular application where you get to pick. This pick is actually going to enable you to uh, search for image files anywhere it sits in your device, either in the uh, memory card, in the gallery, you know, you're going to have the access to actually search for a particular image. Let's move back to the main activity. And we have the super on-create option menu, which passes the menu as its parameter. The on option item selected, while you select the item pick, is what, what's going to happen. It's going to get the item ID and equate it to the action select. And the result view uh, will be called. Or by you're going to set the image drawable. You know, to the result view and the crop also will be called this is from the library itself 
or you're going to pick the image the particular image you know, that was selected will be picked and it's going to return to true and uh we have on activity results where we're going to have the request code the result code and the result itself as an intent it's going to work like an intent or by the if the result code is equals to the result the request pick and the result code is equals to result okay so if it actually passed all parameters as what that is doing uh the begin crop is going to be started and the result is going to get data else if the result code the request code rather is equals to the crop request crop you know the handle crop is going to actually pass the result code and its result now you're going to have a begin crop method which was passed into uh these if statements if every uh, aspect of the parameters are being met you know based on the uri source of this particular picture uh there's going to be a uri destination about the, from the file, which file, which file are, are you getting this particular uh, picture from? And it's going to catch the directory, get the crop, and uh, you're going to have the source and its destination as square or method where you're going to start uh, the cropping itself. This is just done. This is the uh, way you're actually going to have to get cropped uh, based on the library details. This begin crop is actually gotten from uh, the soundcloud crop library we have the Andrew crop you know, this is where you get to save partly after you might have crop uh, you can get to save the particular picture to your device or to your uh storage device or which is going to be that made a memory card or to save it uh, to the gallery where we have the result code and its results and its parameter now it's testing if it's okay it's going to set the image uri and uh, get the output results else if not uh there's going to be a toast message uh to uh the ui probably if there is an error whatsoever now let's get to look at the manifest we are need a permission called read external storage because we're going to read some we're going to we, we should have the ability or your application should have the ability to read uh, external storage like memory card or even read your gallery in any other attached input device which actually stores our data you know, so that you can be able to search for your particular image now we also have to include the crop image activity you know, this activity is very important we actually didn't uh, show any code in this but this is gotten from the SoundCloud library uh, which actually made up the uh, crop itself this crop image activity is important uh, is actually the activity that handles uh, the cropping as a whole now you have to include that as an activity being called very important uh, after that you close up your application and also you close up your manifest that's very fine uh, I'll be uploading the source file to my github account and I'll be showing you these uh, as a screencast or as a screenshot because I actually tested it on a real device uh, my emulator doesn't have uh, pictures right inside the device or inside the device so i'll quickly test in every device and get you uh the screenshots so i'll be following i'd like you to follow with me uh you have the first screen of the ui of the application where you have the image of the tiles and you notice that the tiles has been multiplied and it has filled up the background making it uh, a very good background just from this 32 png file we've been able to populate more than uh, 1000 uh, uh pixels now you have the pick uh, button or let's say the pick click menu at the top bar where you need to uh, search for the particular picture in question. Now if we move further, we click on that pick, it will actually give you access. It works out like, like an intent whereby you can select pictures from your drive which is from the Dropbox, from the Google Drive, from even your gallery, from photos, anywhere you might have saved your picture. Uh, this is going to actually enable you to search for it get the picture for you now we've been able to get a picture and uh be able to display it at the full length which covers the tiles our uh, background and it has gives you the menu of cancel and also of done after you might have cropped with this uh, uh blue uh square so you, you have to extend this blue square to any desired portion you need to crop out of this image and this has been done i've been able to 
select the topmost uh, side which is get get into the belly of this particular person and i'm going to crop this out and have it uh in a better mode now why doing that can you notice that the picture has been cropped and i are now have a redefined scale of the picture in terms of the width and height and uh, you can have access to actually save this picture probably in your other uh, in your, your gallery to, act, to have the crop picture you know at hand thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session i hope you've been able to gotten uh, i hope you've gotten one or two things you know, to, to to use in the course of this application whereby you get to crop uh, pictures you know at the fly easily you know just with a library the soundcloud library Thank you once more and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.